Okay, we're back. Part two. I don't know how we got booted off, but uh, round two, back again. I don't know if I lost the signal because of this house being an old antique house or what. But we got a little bathroom here. I mean, it's exactly what it is. A little half bath with exposed brick. Exposed brick. Still working on some stuff here. Let's see, we got some lights in here. Nope. We got a light over here. Let me turn the lights off as I turn the lights on. Okay. Man, this is another room here. What's up, Kiva? It's all staged up and ready to go. I mean, overall, I mean, I think it's a pretty nice looking house. But looks can be deceiving. Oh, they need a new air conditioner. What's that raggedy air conditioner doing out there on this nice looking house? You got an old raggedy air conditioner from the 1980s. Upgrade, baby. I see upgrades requested. If you're going to make your kitchen look like this, you might as well make everything else look good as well, right? So it's like you got a little microwave below. Don't the microwave supposed to be like above the oven, like over here? Wouldn't that be better? But they got the microwave over here where I guess a kid can reach it nice and low. I don't know. Is this, is this quality material they use on this stuff? Nice fridge. That's probably one of those refrigerators where you can uh, got cameras on the inside to let you know how good everything is. Oh, yeah, this is brand new. It ain't never had no hunk of meat in it or nothing yet. So this is the lower level as it appears. There's the back door. Got a detached garage. It looks to be pretty new. Oh yeah, he did say it was a new garage on here. So you need it over in this neighborhood because you can't park nowhere. That wood don't look too good on that deck either, but I mean, I guess it's okay. I'm trying not to say everything wrong with it. What do you see right with it? Do you see anything good? I'm trying to see. Why are we not getting the lights in this room? So I guess it's got lights where it's got lights. That's the downstairs. We'll check that out in a second. I'm going to go upstairs first. See what that's about. Over here in the central west end. Where we all are friends. So I guess this is the area where most of the work is being done. Beautiful design throughout. Looks nice. From what I can see from here. But it's still got some finishing work to do here. And when you got to make me work, I charge you to make me work. This is the hallway when you come up. It's already staged up and ready to go. Here's a uh, little room here. Microwave in this spot for those of us who are height challenged. Exactly, Charlotte. <laughs> what is this, another bathroom? No, this is just a little oh, laundry room. Look like a laundry room up here. On a, why ain't got no lights in half of the house? What's up with that? Oh, there we go. We got a little bit of light. Let there be light. So this is a little washer dryer hookup area right here on the second floor. Who's doing laundry upstairs? I guess that's better than downstairs. And they got this staged up nice and pretty here. Nice and pretty. Even got a little butterfly paint. Don't that make you feel good? Nice ceiling fans. Let's see what the closet space look like. Can I put, Can you fill that closet up with no problem? I'm sure you can. And I'm going to assume that's a bathroom over there. Let's take a look-see. Don't even know what that goes to. Oh, I guess that goes to the bed. To make that bed lift and stuff. That is like a... That is a sleep number bed or something. Yep, a little bathroom over here. How you love that? Oh, wow, a walk-in shower. So how are you going to keep that in? Don't I need glass doors on this or something? What are you going to do with this? Is somebody using to leave the toilet paper sitting there? Because it ain't no toilet holder, toilet roll holder. See the little details. But how are you going to take a shower in here? So wouldn't you have to put that glass on the outside of here? Because that water would get everywhere, right? I mean, am I crazy? He said the electrical and plumbing is updated, but, you know, we'll see. 
it appears to be okay, but it's kind of like partially done. Ta-da! So, that's the master bedroom, I guess, here, one of them. Hardwood floors, or some hardwood-looking floors, because I don't think that's real wood. It's the looking. It doesn't feel like the real thing. Ain't nothing like the real thing, man. And this is another, is this supposed to be a bedroom? No, this is just a middle room. No, this is a bedroom, okay. It's got a closet and a fireplace. This is a bigger closet than in the other room. This is a small room in here to me. For all that money, I need some room. What can you put in here, a queen size bed? You can even put a king in here, I don't think. Probably gonna have to put your bed on that side of the room. It's got new windows, that helps on some of these. And looking back outside, the fire escape with like a flat roof. And uh, that old air conditioner unit down there. I still ain't forgot about that old air conditioner unit. I'll be seeing that. But yep, another one of these rooms. That's room number two. Now let's go down here. Look like a toilet ain't in down there. Oh, there's a little closet. Put some junk in, in the hallway. Oh, this goes up to the third level. Okay, so we're only on the first, the second level. There's a third level, too, I guess we got to see. It's going to be a long video. Hope this thing holds on. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're liking this video, this content, this raw walk through the mansion. That's really not a mansion, in my opinion. This room looks nice, too, but, you know, they didn't even use this as a bedroom. They used this as an office. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. They got that uh, nice window over here and another fireplace that probably doesn't work. Nice big closet. I mean, it's got its things, its perks. It's just not something I would spend half a million dollars on. I couldn't stomach that. Even though I'm in this beautiful neighborhood where people are running and stuff like that outside. Cars driving by looking at me. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? But, I mean, that's a good room overall. There's no ceiling fan in this room. This room would get hot. And it looked like the sun be, uh, you know, blazing in here. I like that centerpiece right there. I could use that on my desk. What up, John and John? I see you. Double John in the building. And here we go with another master bath. Oh, wow. The toilet need to be put back in. His and her sinks. Yep, looks okay there, I guess. And then you got your toilet that needs to be... That's probably an old toilet, because don't you supposed to have a thing on top now? If you even see it on the side, I know that means cheap. When I see on the side, that means cheap. See it on top, that means sweet. That's what I think. Oh, I like this tub here, though. Let's see. Get that water spigot and that shower, handheld shower piece. Kind of nice, but I mean, I don't know. It's just not my flavor. I mean, I, I, couldn't, I wouldn't move in this, I don't think. It'd have to be better than this to be spending that kind of money. Just in my opinion. What do you think? You think it's worth it? So what was that? One, two, three bedrooms and a mat, another bath. And then we got upstairs. I don't know what's up here. We're going on the wheel. Hope nobody up here. Announce yourself. Oh, that looks cute. Nice little setup. Exactly, that basement is going to be a bugger. Now, this is the real master bedroom here. Now, this is better. Oh, yeah, much better up here. Uh, selling it as is, and they want to sell it quick, and they want to close in 10 days. Dreaming. And then you can even walk out on your patio. So you got two steps. Walk out, and you got your own little balcony up here. I like that little finishing touch. It's ugly, but I like it. I mean, I don't like the way it looks, but it's a good thought. Kind of dangerous. Going, oh, I guess that's your escape to get up out of here. But, uh, oh, they even got the furnace upstairs. So I don't know what's going to be in that basement. You got a furnace up here in this closet area. Same floors throughout. I mean, I guess they had a, a plan to make this thing work out. And you got some extra lights up there on the ceiling. That helps. I didn't turn on all those lights because I don't want to forget to turn them off. It's a big house. Location, location, location. That's right. They got some houses right over here that sold in the 600s. I don't think this one will bring that kind of money, but 
Who knows? What do I know? I don't know nothing. I just know to ask questions. Oh, this is a closet. This is a real closet. That other closet down there was a game. This is a real closet. Walk in, baby. Where you can put. So this is the real master uh, bedroom up here because you got this big closet and a view to the outside again. Yeah. We up here in the trees, baby. We all the way up. So these floors are have been done all the way through. So they did the same floor throughout the whole house, it appears. But I do like that walkout right there. I like the idea of it. It's ugly. I mean, do you agree with me? Do you think it's ugly? Put in a three if it's ugly and a one if it's cute for this walkout patio balcony. A three if it's ugly and a one if it's cute. I think it's ugly. It's a good idea, but it's ugly to me. And then that's how it looks from out this window. Fire escape to get up out of here if you need to escape quickly. Get up out this big old house. But they put a lot of money into this. He definitely spent probably 200000 or more on what he's done so far if this is all new. Everything looks to be new. You would rip out that mini deck. It's ugly. Yeah, I don't like it. I mean, it's, it's a good idea. I'm not going to say it's a bad idea. Just, I mean, look at the what's going on with the top of that chimney. You know, when you're spending money like that, man, you got to go ahead and spend that bread and get my basics together first before you try to make it cute. I don't care about cute. My basics, right? So this is the third level. Did I look in this bathroom? Nope. This is the other bathroom over here. Much bigger. Much better, actually. It doesn't have... Well, it does have the his and her sinks. But the way they did it, the door goes, like, right there on it. So this door got to be closed to even use that other sink. And another shower without the glass. Everybody thinks it's ugly, just like me, huh? <laughs> three, three, three. The square footage, I think, is about 3,400 square feet. So you got a his and her mirror. Another, is that an outdated toilet? Let's see. Is it a handle on the side or on top? On the side. And look at this. I see problem down here. I ain't spending all that money for that. I want to see perfection. If I'm going to spend a half a million dollars, or am I just being picky? Because if you're going to spend that money, you got to be picky as hell. That's what I think. If I'm going to spend some money, I'm picky. Hell yeah, I'm picky. Another tub is the same as the one downstairs. So they got a lot of, I guess, stock items. At least they got the gutters covered up up here so stuff don't get in your gutters. Well, partially the other way. Down there they don't. I still barbecue on that balcony. <laughs> but yeah, they got to put some glass doors. I mean, do they got to put a door on this? Or can you use that shower like that and just hope it don't get out here on the floor too bad? I mean, I don't know. This is like way out of my range. Then you need some covers for your vents. You know, finishing touches. You're going to do some barbecue on that balcony, huh? All right, so I guess that's enough of upstairs. Let's go back all the way to the basement. What's up, Jamie? You would love to know the paint color is on the walls. Agreeable gray. It appears to be agreeable gray. I don't know. It's gray all the way through. This whole house is kind of cookie cutter. You know what I mean? Everything's the same. There's no surprises. Everything's the same all throughout. Everything's the same. Same old mess. I like this as an office, but that's all it's good for for me. Maybe I'm being picky. Enough of the second level. Back down to the third level. Then half the lights aren't working, or unless it's just me. You got to close that up. See, this is the area they've been working in because that's why they got that plastic there. And that's the front door. Got a heater right there, space heater. What that mean? See, you got to look for the clues. The clues tell you everything you need to know. I don't know if y'all saw in the other video or not, but here's the dining area with no lights. No lights. And here's another little living room, formal room, den, or whatever you want to call it. Little area here. Kind of cute, but, you know, like I said, this house is kind of cookie cutter. Maybe I'm just picky. Where's the pocket doors that's supposed to be here? Is this one? Since I know the name of it now, the pocket door. Okay, we don't know if it's still working. <sighs> and the kitchen, if y'all didn't get to see that, I'll fan by that real quick. Ain't nothing, I mean, it's cool. I mean, I don't think it's the best kitchen ever, but... You know, not being picky. Yeah, I'm being picky. I'm spending half a million dollars. I'm picky as hell. I'm hella picky. Got your microwave low. 
I mean, it looks like it's plenty of cabinetry space, I guess, depending on how many people live in the house. You know, these people like to eat. And then what goes right here? A freezer or something? It ain't even an electrical thing there. You know, I'd be looking at that stuff like, what do you do right there? Just put a little table set, a little uh, bistro set or something. A little oven over here, smart oven. Smart refrigerator, brand new. I don't know. Let's see what this basement looks like. If I can go down here. Oh, I found a light. Oh, I found two lights. Exposed brick. You like that? That's the good quality to keep. And it's real brick. It's not that fake junk. This signal might go out when I go down here, so we'll see how this goes. We got stacks right here at the thing as soon as you come down. As soon as you come down, you hit with some plumbing. Great. Mosaic marble type floors. Oh yeah, big dry basement. We hope. I don't see any cracks in the foundation. Any water getting in. A little bit over there in that corner. You say lock it in at 350 to 375. Yeah, right. He want 420. Dreaming. But we'll see. Like I said, I can't say nothing yet. I'm all about helping out people. How can I help him? Even if I can't help him the way he want, can I help him for real though? That's what I be thinking. Can I solve the problem? So if that's another furnace, where's the hot water heater at? Oh, uh, what I'm saying isn't pick being picky. Oh, okay, you're right. Now there's a hot water heater, one of them. If there's only one here. So you got two furnaces, a hot water heater, another little stack for the bathroom there. Um, you know, and it looks like a walkout basement. That kind of helps. I mean, the wiring and stuff looks like it's been professionally done recently. Somebody ran all new plumbing, all new electrical wire through here. I mean, he spent a lot of money on this house. I ain't going to lie. I can tell they spent the money. But I don't know, man. I think he spent more than he's supposed to. What's going on with the electrical panel? Where my electrician's at? You said out of St. Charles, I ain't even that much. You're right. But this is the basement. It's big. It's walkout. It's what it is. What you see is what you get. How do you grade this house on a scale of 1 to 10? 1, no chance. 10, you might be able to win. Is this a good house? Is this a bad house? Uh, I saw some comps for some houses a little bit bigger over here selling about 635, but they were like 1,000 square foot bigger than this. So I don't know if that number he asking for is realistic. And this basement got some slants in it. I don't know if that's supposed to be that way, but like that, that curvature is going down right there. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm seeing. How do you grade this house on a scale of 1 to 10? Definitely need another hot water heater. Exactly. That's what I was looking at. Like, where is it only one hot water heater? Unless there was another one upstairs and I didn't notice it. Could have been a second one. But what do I know? I know nothing. I know to get about this basement. Definitely need another hot water heater. Let's see. Kill that. Kill that. But this is the house. Let me see what this backyard look like real quick, if I can. Oh, you got to walk down to the basement. Oh, that's what that walk-out steps went to. And then they got a greenhouse next door. Growing some marijuana. Mm -hmm. Tell somebody to put up over there. He just told every kid to shut up. That's messed up. They don't even see me out here. Uh-oh, what's that? I hope they just look like that. They need to paint it? Because that don't supposed to look like that. I'm being picky. I'm about to eat dinner out here. That's nice. And this is the other side of the building here. And like I said, that old AC need to be replaced. I knew that as soon as I looked at it. Thing. And then, like I say, I got this garage back here. I don't know if I can get in there. Probably not. I think that's new. Look at the house next door, though. Oh, my goodness. What y'all doing over here? That's some old stuff. It's falling down and all kind of buffoolery going on on the house next door. That's the little gangway. That's how much space you got from your house to your other one. This would be a good Airbnb. That's about the only way you'll make the money on it. You can't do it in a single family. 
where are you gonna make your money at? But I mean, how much you think this will take in repairs as well? I mean, the stuff we just saw in this video, quite a bit. I mean, I'm looking at a nice number. I mean, it might be twenty, maybe fifteen thousand or something in repairs. I don't know, cause I don't know what else is not working. Could be more, and I don't. That garage is newer, supposedly. Let's secure the back. So you're giving this house somewhere in the range from three to three and a five. Oh, wow. Dang. On a scale of one to ten, you're saying it's a three, three and a half. Wow. Woo. He's, he's in the problem. I mean, they did a good job on what they did, but I'm like, I would have never did a rental. The only way I would have did a uh, something like this on this, you had to buy this house for 100000 or like 50000 to put this kind of money into it to bring it up to this level. But they they paid like two seventy for it and then put a bunch of money into it. Buy the one next door, exactly. I'm about to skip trace them in a minute. You know it. You know I'm on them. Staying woke. You gotta stay woke or you're gonna be broke. So that's the house. Boom. I don't know. I mean it it, it got potential, but it, it's kind of pricey. And in this wall here, I don't know what's going on with that. What's all that? The wall even bad. So this whole outside here is like the main part that need work. Cause like even above me here, look at that hose all up here. I guess they putting lights or something in the right there. I don't know. They're doing something to it, but it still needs work. And you can't need me to work and want me to bust heads on the price. It ain't happening, brother. And he in California, I believe. So we're gonna call him back. Ain't 310, is that in the California? What is it? What's 310 area code? What what part of the United States is the 310 area code? Let's see if I can lock him back up nice and safe. We don't want nobody to get in here. This is a weak lock too to just be you know. No, what you saying? 300 to 350,000? Oh, okay. You're right. Yeah, the one next door though. Let's look at that real quick since I'm here. Is that even a house? What is this? It's got window units. Is that even a house? You got a big tree growing in the front. I need to cut that thing down. I guess you can keep it if you want shade in your front yard. But that's the one next door. Need a lot of external paint and some more stuff. I like the layout though. It's, it's a different look. But yeah, this is what it looks like when you come outside in the morning. Go out and do a quick run around the block. Run around the block. Run around the block. That's the one next door. And this is our subject property. I'll give you another shot of the front of the house again so you see what that looked like. See if it's somewhere you would want to live. Would you want to live here? Would you want to live here? And that is being generous. You're right. I already knew it was high for I came to look at it. I didn't really want to come see it. Because I was like, them numbers ain't high, bro. But we're going to see if we can save them on another creative way. Because uh, a cash deal ain't going to work. Not from what I'm seeing. It ain't going to work. You got to get right. If you're going to get a low ball offer. Not even got to be low ball. A cash offer. You got to be, you know, right. Because money has a cost. You can't just go in tomorrow and pay full cash and full price and close fast. You asking for too much. Maybe I'm just crazy. Did you ask for too much? But you can rent this one right here for eleven fifty. Two bedroom, one bath, eleven fifty. That's more than two times what I pay. But I live all the way out in South County. <laughs> I don't even pay that. Damn, buzz heads live over here. Yeah, they got some nice houses over here though. Look at that. Beautiful houses across the street. Beautiful, quiet little neighborhood. Even this house. I like this house. I mean, there's some nice ones over here, but uh, we ain't going to be paying no full retail. Above retail, all cash and close fast. That ain't the name of the game. If you want a quick cash closing, you need to come on down off that number. Work with me now. Work with me. I don't want to beat you up on price, but I will. That's a nice looking house, too. All these houses got some nice character on them. It's just, you know, if it need work, you can't make somebody pay full price and work on it. You want me to pay you and work. Are you crazy? Do you know I don't work? Do you know I'm allergic to work? And they be speeding down the street. Zzz. So, hope that video helped you out.
Hope you saw something you like. Took you on a little field trip. Like I said, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. You can share it too if you like. You know, sharing is caring. And if you haven't joined already, check out the Woke Real Estate Investors Group on Facebook. Free group. Talking about subject two. Talking about wholesaling. Talking about lease options. Talking about all the creative wheels and deals that you can do out here and pay those bills. Doing some real estate. Cost you nothing. And if you're looking for contracts, cool gear, or coaching, WokeRealEstate.com is the website. Learn from the OG. It ain't even an OG yet. I'm a baby. I'm a baby. Baby boy. I'm just a baby boy. Any questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? Let's see what we got here. Woo. This thing heavy. Toting this thing around. Getting heavy, man. Put that thing away. Getting heavy on your back. And that's being generous. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for the likes. About to head back south. I think I got another house to look at. Do I got another house? I got like two more houses to look at, but I don't think I'm going today. Maybe tomorrow. We'll put them off to the next day. Also, I got some new deals that just came in on a rent to own. If you're in the St. Louis area looking for a rent to own home, hit me up. I just picked up two of them like in the last three days, something like that. So they're ready to go. We're going to be showing them this week. A down payment is required for those. Um, other than that, I'm about to get up out of here and do some more woke stuff. Hey, we here. Glad you joined in. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me.